Defense and uh, space trends, uh, you, you know most of these, but um, there's just a wide range of platform requirements and requirements. There's uh, very unique performance uh, envelopes, and that drives all kinds of issues into, into uh, productivity. Um, you have the long development cycles, the low production rates. So the challenge is going forward is really around uh, to proving it to the customer that it, it works before you, you fly it or use it. Um, how do you have small production lots? You can't invest in a ton of tooling and infrastructure. How can you basically build one and sell one? And, um, and that's our, our lean mantra. It's very challenging um, to develop tooling that um, has a, low, uh, a very short life cycle that is cheap because um, then you have the ability to uh, flex your um, design um, without having to overcome the amortization of um, tooling over a long, long period of time. Tremendous leaps in process control are, are uh, available to us. And um, in this case, you know, we did, we're doing one-up assembly in Australia, and uh, um, it's, it's one-shot um, sort of um, process control, and it allows us to eliminate a number of process steps. And as we go through the production system, the challenge with um, robotics and automation is how can we cheaply um, retroactively implement and drive it into processes um, in our legacy platforms? Uh, because we can, we're going to continue building many of our uh, fighter jets and our commercial platforms uh, for many uh, years to come. So how do you uh, create business cases around robotics? Um, and uh, and it, usually it's around driving the uh, uh, consistency and first pass quality it's about reducing labor content, um, just tremendous capability and uh, uh, potential there.